Okay, for problem one in the exam, we're given this constellation. And this constellation is a 16 quam constellation. But it's not the square constellation that we've seen uh, previously. This is a little bit more irregular geometry. And if we look, you know, there's four inner points here. Uh, I can see I'm missing uh, a point there. Let me just add one here. Is another point in the constellation. Uh, if I look at the coordinates in this system, first of all, I marked out uh, 1 times the square root of 2 ES over 27, 3 times uh, the square root of 2 ES over 27, and 5 times the square root of 2 ES over 27. So why do we have these coordinates, this choice of coordinates? Well, this is the difference between signal space, as I mentioned earlier, signal space, and IQ space. So IQ space, what would I have done? I would have just said 1, 3, 5. That would have been easier. But somehow this is different. So the idea is that if this is truly uh, signal space, then the definition of signal space is that the vector that represents the signal has its length, which is related to the energy of that signal. So ES here represents the average energy per symbol. So if I were going to take these 16 points and calculate the energy for each one of these, these points, the length squared of each one of these vectors, and sum them up, I would get 16 times ES. Uh, uh, yes. So that the average, when I divide by 16, I would get ES. So let's just take the time to validate that this is indeed uh, a good representation in signal space. So how do we do that? How do we validate the signal space representation? So to do that, we're going to take uh, the various points and calculate their energy. Let's take the four innermost points. So that would be four of those. And what is the uh, length of that vector? Well, there's the coordinates. This is plus uh, the square root of 2 ES over 27 for the x coordinate, or the i in phase coordinate, and another square root of 2 ES for the quadrature, or the y coordinate. So I would put uh, the square root of 2 ES over 27 squared plus the square root of 2 ES over 27, again, squared. So that would be the first one. If I took the most outer points here, what would I get? Well, there's four of them, so I'll start with four. And now there's only one coordinate. There's only an x or there's only a y, so it'll be like 0 squared. And then the other one, now I have 5 squared, uh, 25 times, and then the square root squared would give me 2 ES over 27, for instance. Uh, so now we'll look at the other three in this sort of uh, diamond shape. And these would be very similar to the last one, except that now it's 3. This is the coordinate, so squared would be 9. And 2 ES over 27. And now the final uh, four we haven't looked at yet are these here, these four points, where we have, you know, again, an x and a y coordinate, which are the same. In this case, it's 3, um, uh, three the square root of 2 ES over 27 quantity squared. Of course, the same thing here, which would give us uh, 9 times 2 ES over 27. So these are all of the uh, contributions, the energy of all the signals. And so I want to sum them up, and so uh, let's make it a little simpler. First of all, it's 4 times 2, because there's two terms, times 2ES over 27. Here there's 4 times 25 uh, times 2ES over 27. Here it's 4 times 9 times 2 ES over 27. And finally, there's uh, 4 times 9, and there's two terms, so times 2, times 2 ES over 27. Are you all with me so far? So now let's combine these terms, and what we're going to see is that we get, well, let's take the 4 times 2 ES over 27 that are in all of the terms. We'll factor that out. And what do we multiply it by? We multiply 2 plus um, 25 plus 9 plus 18. 
And of course, um, that gives me 27 plus 27. So that just equals uh, 4 times 2 ES over 27 times 27 times 2. 27s cancel out, and I get 16 ES. So if I take, that's the total energy for the whole constellation. And if I was going to look at the average energy per symbol, the average energy per symbol, uh, let, let, me, let me not confuse you by writing it that way. Let's try something else. Let's say the average energy per symbol is equal to 1 over 16 times the total energy. And indeed, that would be 1 over 16 times 16 ES, which of course gives us ES. And that means that the ES really is the average energy per symbol. And that means that this original uh, set of coordinates is the right set of coordinates, and we are indeed in signal space.